happy Vlogmas for me and Katie. You can see the ladder set up. I'm going to finally get this tree in order and um, open up my advent calendar for calendars for day eight and nine. So I'll put down the kitten before my allergies act up and start on the tree. And then at the end we'll do advent together. So I guess I'll climb the ladder first thing and I'm going to get the, get the star on the top so I don't have to worry about it and uh, get it plugged in. The cat has not bothered this tree at all. She's been wonderful. This, she's young, so this is her first Christmas. I was very concerned about it. So I'm hoping my working on the tree in front of her and climbing the ladder doesn't give her ideas. <laughs> a little concerned about that. She's been so good. Oh, you can't even see it, but there it is. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go plug it in and we'll see how this goes. It's lit up. Okay, I'm gonna move this giant ladder and start working down below for now. And let me show you some of the ornaments in my bucket here. This is the bucket and inside I've got lots of little things all organized. Um, that are my favorites that I put on the tree, but every year my mother-in-law gives me one of these little Madame Alexander doll ornaments, and these are my favorites. So this bucket contains all of the Madame Alexanders that I've gotten over the years from her, and some of my favorite ornaments for putting up the tree. So let's get started on that. These are so cute. This contains a lot of my birdie type ornaments. I love including things like this in the tree where you can kind of hide them in, nestle them in. And I've got actual little birds. I like this little guy. I have a few peacocks. I really like the peacocks if I can find them. That's a favorite. But I also like to keep with my sort of just silver and gold theme for the most part. I'm not super organized about how I do it. I just try and make it look even and I usually end up moving a few things around as I go. And I kind of watch the colors that I put together too. This is a problem because the floors aren't even here. So, I don't want my ladder to sit over. Okay, if I fall into the tree, call my husband. Okay, this is gonna take a while, so let me just pull out some of the cute dolls and show you real quick, and then I'll come back and show you the tree. This is my mistletoe. Don't know where, I usually just leave it sitting somewhere. I don't hang it up in the house. I'm not into forcing people to kiss, but I think it's a very pretty little ornament. Okay, so these are what, you've probably seen this before, and if you've seen, I did a um, video last year, I think, of my Christmas tree with a few close-ups. So I'll show you a few of these. Here's this little girl. I have only one that's sort of damaged that won't go on the tree that my dog got a hold of when she was a puppy and pulled off a leg. Isn't she cute? There's also an Irish dancer, which is one of my favorites because my daughters did Irish dancing when they were young. And it seems so Christmassy. So let me see if I can find her. Um, look at the little ice skating girl. Oh, that's not going to show up at all. It is. There she is. Isn't she cute? So I keep all of the boxes and uh, try and keep them, everything together so that they survive intact. And then I got these last year when I decorated my presents. I actually put these on instead of bows. I have a whole bunch of them left. So I hung onto those because they look nice in the tree. And I have a few of these sort of vintage looking 
baubles. It's in this box. I have a few hand, oh, these are pretty. I have a few hand blown ornaments too that I wasn't, I don't know if I was gonna put them on the tree or not this year because I didn't want the cat to knock them over, but if she looks like she's gonna behave, they'll go up. So these are some, they're not old, but they look old. Pretty ornaments. And then the rest of this bucket, if I can lift it up, it's pretty much those Madame Alexander dolls. Here's last year's. It's a golden angel. Aw. Yeah, this one didn't make it on the tree. I got this after Christmas last year just because of us being moving around and such. But isn't she pretty? So I need to find her little hanger. Let me see if I can find the Irish dancer. I do love that one a lot. Snow Queen. This one's really cute. She is. Here's our little Irish dancer. Isn't that sweet? So, okay, I'm gonna work on the tree for a bit. I'll be back in a little while and it'll look a lot better. All right, I have to show you this one. This is the little Nutcracker Girl. I just love her. Isn't she sweet? This was 2019. And the little nutcracker is kind of attached by a chain, so he's, he's loose. It's like Clara. Here's the other little Clara. Little dancing girl with her nutcracker. This is where it will end for today. I can't find my picks that I usually put in the tree that make pretty sprays and sort of fill in even more, so um, this may be as far as it gets. If the picks appear while we're out, Looking for other items, I'm gonna shove them in and I'll do an update at some point. But now I'm gonna go grab our advent and we'll do day eight and nine together. Sorry about the odd lighting. We have windows over here. I should really reframe this, but this is the prettiest view for the tree. So it's all in what you want to look pretty. I'm gonna go wrap a few presents and stick under the tree too because there's nothing sadder than a tree without a present. So. Let's do our cheese first. We're gonna do day eight and day nine. I see day nine. Where is day eight? Day eight, okay. And it is, I'm losing my coffee. It is another Mediterranean Gouda. And day nine is, stuck inside. Day nine is white cheddar. Yeah. Okay, coffee. I will tell you, I opened a few coffees and didn't drink them yet, so I put them in our little coffee station. Um, so my hubby, who wants to try these things too, could have them, and he likes coffee. He doesn't like flavored coffee. He doesn't like cream in his coffee. He just wants good black coffee. And he decided to try the cinnamon one that I opened like on day four or something did not like it at all. Um, so it was like cinnamon sticky bun. He was like, oh, I'm gonna love that, but no, he did not. So number eight is Costa Rica coffee. There we go. Number nine is Guatemalan. All right, so I've got some more cheeses and coffees to try. If you haven't checked in yet, go back and watch Wednesday's video where I uploaded um, my bunting video on how to make cute little buntings. I'll put in a little clip here so you can see the buntings. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh or the fields we go. I'll see you tomorrow. What fun is